Yes, Scrappy Peeps, Susanna here today for Mercy Tierra Kits to share with you this layout created with the Dream Big Kits. So I have the pattern paper, no I don't. I have the embellishment add-on as well as the mixed media kit, which I am not going to use, and the cardstock add-on, which I am also not going to use. Um, so working primarily here with the main kit and the embellishment add-ons. So this is a grid layout. Um, if you know me, I um, call a lot of my grid layouts are part of a series um, or I add them to a, uh, a, a YouTube playlist that's called Breaking Out of the Box. So basically, I like grid layouts and I like my grid layouts to not look like grid layouts. So um, I do things in such a way as to try and make them look less gritty. And um, one of the things that I'm going to do here is I'm going to try and have elements that hang over the edges of the the grid um, either into the center or outside so as to not make the box so boxy hence breaking out of the box so i have two pictures here uh one of my sister and i at lunch on S sibs week well it's not sibs sister's weekend she came down for the weekend with my daughter while my while michael was out of town on a business trip and michael is uh nicholas is at university um, and then the other picture is of our lunch and um day time drinking, which we don't, I don't normally do, um, but they were just samplers. So four, four beers, four little um, sample size beers that we had with our lunch. And so I am arranging here these um, squares in such a way that I've got the mixed patterns divided by the somewhat solid color. So you can see I have three mixed patterns there, top left, uh, right middle and then bottom left and then I have the the more solids and the idea is that I want to keep the solids for the most part um, tone on tone and then the mixed I'm just going to put a bunch of embellishments in there and so uh, the idea is that I will just take from all of the embellishments that are available in uh, this lovely kit from Mercy Tierra or Tracy Banks and Scott um, and try and just build up layers in the squares for decor. Um, I end up sort of just using whatever's available um, and works. Uh, I am somebody who tends to like to stick to a theme. So like this is food and sisters. So I could have stuck with hearts and foody things. Um, but there's a porcupine that ends up in there and um, a coffee cup and a tea kettle, all of which have nothing to do with what we're doing, but they're fun. So I'm going to use them. So um, this is me totally going out on a limb and just winging it here and um, arranging the squares. Uh, the adhesive that I use, this particular adhesive from uh, Gina K, is re it, it's permanent adhesive, but as long as I don't put it down, press it down too hard initially, um, it is liftable and doesn't uh, pull up paper. So I like that I could do this and then rearrange the squares if I needed to, but I actually, for the first time in for like forever, did a pretty good job of putting them down and not lifting them and shifting them. So we have all eight squares down um, and now I'm just going to add the embellishment. So as I said before, I'm pretty much gonna go tone on tone and then just decor. So I've got all of those purpley, lavendery blues that are gonna go up top um, and then I am going to uh, put in some other things. So some things are gonna go up on foam. It just provides a nice dimension uh, to the layout and uh, other things will just go flat down. And I'm perfectly okay with that. Uh, so these are foam stickers and I'm going to be very brave. Look, I didn't even think about it and hesitate and I'm going to cut them apart because that doesn't fit in the square and I want it to fit in the square and foam is a whole lot easier to cut than chipboard. So keep that in mind. If things don't fit that you can actually cut them and make them work for you just as I've done there, right? Um, pretty easy, pretty cool. And if you don't hesitate, it's, it goes, it's, not scary. Um, so I am looking for another yellow element here. So I have the house, but it, it's too big for the square. It covers too much of the square. Um, and it, it, it doesn't break from the box per se. 
So I am going to look for, I know there's a yellow tree in there, um, and that's actually what I'm looking for. So I end up like pulling everything out. And of course, Murphy, right? It's the last thing that you pull out of your um, embellishment. So there it is. That is a vellum piece there, um, and it is gold foiled. So the, uh, the ridges in the tree are gold foiled. And then that little yellow ticket there goes perfectly with that. And so voila, and see how having the edge of it hang into the center square there kind of breaks the box up, right? It doesn't make it so rigid and so boxy with all of the right angles. They're all still there. They're just camouflaged per se or softened by putting things hanging over the edge there. So there's my yellow tone on tone box complete. Now I'm going to uh, work on some of my vellum elements uh, from one of the embellishment kits. I can't remember which one came a little off center. Um, so I'm just gonna make it work and trim it. And um, I love that we are memory keepers hole punch, but the problem is is that as deep as it is, you can't really see where it is that you're that you're putting your hole. So I need to have, I, I did just put a pencil mark in so I could see where I was cutting that hole there. And then, um, there is some lovely yellow baker's twine that comes with the kit and I'm going to put that in for some color variety to just tie those two together. Um, you'll see in a second that I'm actually going to adhere the green one down to the pink circular square um, but then the blue one is just hanging and I love the freedom of that that provides some movement on the page. Um, of course with gravity it ends up hanging down vertical but when it's um, flat in a page protector it'll hang just a little bit more and be more loose. Um, so yeah, uh, I am popping these hearts up on foam again, adding some texture because I have multiple pieces that are either foam pieces or up on my own double sided foam. Um, I, I feel like I need to have an even amount of that scattered throughout the layout there. So the title of this layout ends up being um, best day ever. I will off camera use um, the some of the round pebbles puffy letter stickers and I'm going to put sisters in um, underneath my sister and I. Uh, and so while it doesn't say sister's day or sister's weekend or something, um, it was a really good day. I always love when my sister comes down and hangs out with us because it's super chill. We just do puzzles and go out for lunch and make dinner and watch TV and just hang out and catch up, um, which is really nice. I appreciate that she drives as far as she does. It's two hours, I think, two and a half hours um, from Maryland, where she is in Maryland, to where I am in Virginia. So I appreciate that she takes the time out to do that. So I... Um, Obviously that frame uh, without a backing on top of the trees is super busy, but if I back it uh, with just white cardstock, um, it makes it less busy. There you go. Um, and gives me a way of sort of breaking up the box by putting another box within the box. Now I have the uh, puffy stickers from the Poppy and Pear collection here and I am going to just um, scatter a few of those again I like the puffiness gives it the texture I'm going to try and stick with my tone on tone and then my multicolor depending on what color square I am working in and um, yeah just add again this is an unusual layout for me in that this is um, really just sticking elements and having fun. And then I'm going to stick a couple of these simple stories, uh, epoxy dots and that my friends, other than what I've already told you, I'm going to do off camera is going to wrap it up. I will also journal in there. So this is for Mercy Tierra kits. If you don't subscribe, be sure to check out the description box down below for subscription information. They are super awesome kits. Um, thanks for stopping in today. I hope you're doing well. Come back again soon. Take care.